Welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip actually comes uh, in the form of a viewer question. I'm all about answering some questions. So um, today we're going to be fielding this one. And that is, is the use of a projector or a light box considered cheating? This isn't a new question. This is a very, very old question. And to kind of prove the point, um, I have an actual quote here. It is impossible to express the beauty of the camera obscura in words. The art of painting is dead for this is life itself or something higher if we could find a word for it. This is a quote actually from Constantine Huens from April of 1622. So for at least 400 years, there have been modes of technology in order to make the art process easier um, and to save some steps. Vermeer, da Vinci, and many, many of the old masters used these various kinds of technique like the camera obscura or other modes. I'm not gonna explain the camera obscura. You can Google it yourself, sweetheart. Um, but they are all um, similar methodologies to projectors and light boxes that we use today. Um, and they have been around for a long, long time. Do I feel that that diminishes the work of people, you know, masters like Vermeer or Da Vinci or any of the other masters? No, I don't. Uh, because your ability to trace a form does not mean that you have the ability to execute the form. Um, you still have to understand spatial relationship, contrast, volumetric form, and all of those other aspects um, to conveying an object. It's not just about the lines, and anybody who's worked as an artist would, will know that. So even though this question is very old, it doesn't seem to go away. Um, and I think it's just another means to diminish artists in, in a way. Because anyone who has tried um, to execute a form um, knows it's not about tracing the outside edges of something or even the interior forms of something. Uh, there's a whole lot more to it. I do believe though that um, using a light box or a projector is a tool to help further your success. And here's why. Um, if you have been working in art for any length of time, you'll know that failure is just an element of it. Um, but success is quite an accelerant because once you have a little taste of success, you want a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And if you have a tool that can help you um, move through a series of learning experiences at a more accelerated rate, that doesn't mean that that tool is bad or that you're cheating. It means that it's, it's a tool that is helping you understand how to execute form and shape in a more clear and concise manner instead of having to slog through it for decades like they had to do hundreds of years ago. So I see the uses of projectors and light boxes as a means to further your success um, in a way that's going to allow you to kind of maybe sometimes skip some steps, but it doesn't mean that you're going to be able to skip them entirely. It's just going to mean that you're going to find a different way to learn about um, executing form and shape without having to go through six or 700 sketches to do so. Projectors and light boxes allow you to compose differently than they used to hundreds of years ago. D the way to, to mess with light effects and shadows in ways that they didn't used to. So it's just another tool, folks, and using them is nothing to be ashamed of. So my opinion, no, it isn't cheating. It's just a tool to further your success. So we hope that you enjoy.